This is uh, like one of my financial videos, I guess. How I made uh, essentially a pretty good return on my investment, uh, investing in one stock, essentially. Background, today's date is December 1st, 2020. The stock market is pretty much at an all-time high yesterday, kind of dipped a little bit. In my opinion, your time to invest, your time to get into the market, it's gone, it's passed. Like, you don't, you don't, if you look at, if you look at a stock, we'll say um, GM, and you see the 52 week range, which is one year, one year range, and you see that the price today is near the 52 one year range high. So in my mind, no matter what anybody else says, just off that one fact, the stock is probably at where, unless you know, unless you've done a bunch of research, you know something about the company that the average person, the average investor is not gonna know. That stock is probably near its high. If you get in when the stock's at its high, and this should be common sense, there's a greater chance you're going to lose money rather than make some money. Anyway, yeah, this is why I really didn't want to do this video. It's kind of like, it's not a bigger deal. So, one stock, I don't want to go about this. This is boring. <laughs> this is horrible. Now, buying individual stocks with the intent of making short-term capital gains or even maybe long-term capital gains, which if you don't know, a year, one year or less is considered short-term and one year or more is considered long-term. So yeah, short-term uh, capital gains are taxed at your, uh, as essentially ordinary income, so whatever tax bracket you're in. Um, and then capital gain, long-term capital gains are, there's different levels of your tax, uh, your tax filing status, whether you're you know, single, married, filing jointly, had a household. Um, and actually some of those, depending on what, where you're at and what threshold of capital gains you made, are actually not taxed at all according to a quick you know, Google search. Yeah, long-term capital gains are, are better. And if you're in a Roth IRA and you're over 59 and a half and you want to pull money out of that, you don't get taxed at all for any of it, which is, which is really great. On GM stock, I just, I had 388 shares. I sold 387, I don't know why I kept one. I don't know, just kept one share. And I made uh, approximately 63, 63, 63% return on my um, money. So just the numbers here, um, cost of the, the total cost of the shares that I bought was $10,468.80. Again, that's $10,468.80. The proceeds were $17,107.57. So again, $17,107.57. So I made a short-term capital gain of $6,638.77. Originally, what I did was I sold I sold enough shares to get my original investment back, and then that capital gain of $6,638.77, I left in the market. I think it was equal to 150 shares that I left in the market. So essentially, I created money from nothing. Um, I, invested, I invested some money, a, a good deal of money, 10,500-ish, a little less than that, obviously. And then it grew, and then I sold back enough shares to get my original investment back, leaving the money that I made in, in the market. So the reason I decided to go ahead and sell that capital gain, sell all, all my, almost all my shares essentially, is because looking at GM, looking at the market, um, I think I sold my shares around $44 and like 17 cents a share. I think it got up to like 46 something, and then it kind of came back down. I, I kind of feel like that's like the maximum where it's going to get. Like, obviously long term, it's going to get higher, but because I need the money, I want the money now. Um, I decided to go ahead and sell it. So really quick video, pretty boring. A lot of, a lot of. This is going to be a lot of edits, a lot of cuts because I'm pausing a lot to think. I just, I bought low and sold high. I mean, that's what you do essentially for capital gains. So don't buy stocks and companies you don't understand. You don't like. You don't use their products. I would not go off anybody else's advice. I would trust your own judgment. Don't. If Jim Cramer says, "Hey, this stock's a good stock," sure, probably is. He's, you know, he's an expert. Um, maybe I don't know, <laughs> but like, use your own judgment, kind of thing. Don't buy into a company you don't understand. Don't don't trust anybody ju anybody's judgment but your own. You can you can you can take their advice, you know, whatever, but take it with a grain of salt. Use your own judgment, and don't buy a stock at the height of its value. Really, those are kind of the three rules I follow. And right now, because the market's at an all-time high, other than my Roth IRA, that I'm you know I'm not going to touch unless I you know, there's an emergency or like I want to put some money down on, a, on an investment property and I need to pull some money out of that, I'm not going to touch. That's at an all-time high too, but it's enough for the long run, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm wearing a camo shirt under this. Uh, when in Rome, you know, rural Indiana, right? If you don't have a, a woodland rednecky type camo shirt, then you know, you're, just, you're just wrong in this part of the country. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my video essentially. <laughs> 
I made a 63% return on uh, realized capital gains, not unrealized. I got, I'm out of the market. I'm out, except for one share. I'm out. Um, wait till, I'm gonna wait till it goes down again, and then I'll probably buy some more. Is a 6,600 gain a big deal? For me, it is. That's the biggest I've ever, biggest gain I've ever made that I've realized. Obviously, obviously, my Roth IRA is. There's a bigger gain on that, but I'm not gonna cash that out. <laughs> Anybody who watches this video in like, in like uh, a year or a, or a month, and like GM stock is like at sixty dollars a share. Hey, you know, that's the risk you take. I was originally going to stay in until to see what, how the Nikola deal fleshed out. And I just decided, like, hey, I need to get out now because the stock is about as high as it's going to go. Um, and ended up that, Nick, that GM kinked that Nikola deal. So I can't believe Nikola's stock is where, it is where it's at. That stock should be like $1 a share. They don't have not made anything. I don't even know if they have any intellectual property. Who knows? But don't invest in a company you don't understand. Don't listen to anybody's judgment except for your own. You can, you can, you know, you can listen to them, but don't. Take them at their work without doing your own research. And don't buy a stock at its the highest that it's ever been. Because good chance it's only gonna go down from there. That's my boring video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Probably woke my daughter up, but you know what sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So this has been Clay Burn and we will see you uh, I will see you next time.